One Piece Nation here today to give you my two cents on the situation with Luffy and him fighting on Yoko. This requires me to talk about a couple of things. One, the difference between a commander and a Yonko, which is complete speculation. Nothing I say is fact, but this is just my opinion. Alright. First of all, I'd like to say that Luffy is incredibly powerful, but he has to use Gear Force multiple times to beat Cracker. And mind you, hate me as much as you want for saying this, Luffy didn't beat Cracker. I'll emphasize on another day next. Luffy and Nami beat Cracker. If that was a one-on-one -on -one fight, Luffy would have died. It's the same thing with a lot of his recent fights. Luffy going up against people he can't beat. Luffy versus Dolphamingo. Law did the Gamma Knight. Did damage. I mean, Luffy versus Cracker. Nami made Cracker weaker with Lorraine. I mean... Luffy has a tremendous amount of help in these fights. And that's what you guys need to understand. Luffy has help. And Luffy's not going to have any help because there's no one here besides, I dare say, Jinmei. I'm not even really comfortable saying Jinmei. That could be any substantial help against a Yoko. Nami would barely substantial help against a Squeak Commander. Alright, moving that out of the way. Okay, I think the Division Commanders are significantly weaker than Yoko. I think the gap is, I don't think it's like the Luffy Zoro thing. I think it's like, let's say, I would say, the, if you were one of you, the Straw Hats, Luffy would be the Yoko, and I would say the Commander would be like Brook. Frankie would be like Brook and Robin. Like that that kind of gap. I know that's a pretty big gap. Maybe like the the Disney Commander is like equivalent to like fifty percent of a Yonko, maybe less. All I know is that it's definitely not above fifty percent of a Yonko, in my opinion. So this of course brings up a fact that Luffy cannot defeat a Yoko Division Commander. He can't defeat Cracker. He, Luffy lost. I consider that a loss for Luffy individually. Yes, he, they managed to beat Cracker, but that wasn't Luffy's win. Luffy had not, that fight would not like, Luffy came out of that and was like, yep, I'm stronger than Cracker. No. Luffy came out of that like, thank God I didn't die. So, this, this is my opinion. Luffy needs something. I'm not sure what that is at the moment. Be it another gear. A second time skip. Really, either one of them are a possibility. Maybe further training in hockey. Maybe he needs to master a higher form of hockey. Master some type of elemental hockey. Assuming that's a thing. I'm not really sure if I believe in it or not. I'm going to do a video on it. The point is... Is that this is just kind of my raw, unedited opinion on this? I don't see Luffy beating a Yonko anytime soon alone. Listen, okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be broad. I'm gonna be ballsy, and I'm gonna say it. If Luffy used Gear Fist, if Gear Fist turned out to be a thing, I still think Big Mom would smack his ass. I think she would beat him within an inch of his life either way. I don't think your thick would make a single difference. That's how badly outclassed I believe Luffy is at this point. Because Luffy needs help just to beat the commander. No, so no, I don't think your fifth it would give him more of a chance, maybe let him hurt a Yonko, maybe land a couple of good hits. But I still think Bunyoko would practically annihilate him. Swat him like a fly. Like, you have to realize, it's Bunyoko. Like, Luffy can't be the only person this strong. These people have maintained the position for years upon years for a reason. If anybody would have, 
if any if any other guy that has a bounty of five hundred million is a threat to them, I mean I get it. God, go back to real life. People don't think you realize it. Mean, we don't see them all, but in the new world, people around Luffy level are common. Like it, they're not the most common, but the idea of somebody being able to just see Dolphamingo. It's like, yes, it's a really big deal, but there are plenty of people in the New World who could do it. So, there are plenty of people who could who could try to invade, who could do everything Luffy done since entering the New World, and would still lose to Big Mom. Sabo, my man, I love Sabo. I think he's stronger than Luffy by a decently big margin. Big Mom would destroy Sabo. It would, like... They're in Yonko's, and I feel like we're really underestimating them. And this is, of course, just my opinion. I'm not the best power scaler. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm a good power scaler. I'm just going to sit here and tell you I don't think Luffy can, big, can beat Big Mom. If they were my raw, unedited reason why, I'm not going to sit here and tell you he can. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And tell me your thoughts on this whole situation. Do you think Gear 6 would be enough? Does he need a new ability? Does he need another time skip? Like, how can you see Luffy taking on a Yoko? And if it is another time skip, I'm very curious as to when the hell that would happen. Because the Straw Hat have at least one more encounter with, a Yonk, with another Nyoko, which is Kaido. They are going to encounter Kaido before there's even a chance at a time skip taking place. So yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more One Piece videos. And all the else, guys, have a great day. And yeah, peace out.